on, you know the vibes, www.damecomic.com, D-A-Y-M-C-O-M-I-C.com. Click the link below, order your comic books right now. They're dropping in a few months. Don't be without one. Mm. Hey guys, what's going on? Antonio here. Saw they had the uh, real world reunion going on uh, Paramount Plus. Uh, you know, I've been uh, I've got Paramount Plus, and so I checked it out. They they just had the first episode up. I am uh, wanting to watch the rest of it. I enjoyed. It was kind of uh, good to get back and watch the real world from the start. I haven't watched the real world in like at least about. 12, 13 years. I used to watch Real World every year. Uh, I think I stopped watching around season 15, 16 or whatever. Uh, but it used to be some of my favorite programming. I was like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big reality TV guy. <laughs> I love, yeah, I used to watch all those shows like Survivor and Big Brother and all that kind of, st- uh, you know, Big Brother, the surreal, uh, the surreal world and all those different shows. A lot of which we would not have if not for the real world. And there was a show in 1973 called An American Family that aired on PBS. And that is the first reality show ever. But the real world, you know, like I said, you fast forward to 1992. um, The real world was something different. And it just where American Family took an actual family and just chronicled their lives for, you know, for like a year. Uh, The real world, you know, their formula of picking seven strangers from different backgrounds and kind of setting up situations where conflict would arrive, uh, you know, and, and kind of documenting that. Um, But there are, you know, their, their formula worked, especially with, uh, people that were in my room because I was like when I watched the real world for the first time I was like 18 years old um, it's crazy to see all these guys on on the reunion now because they're all like in their late 40s or early 50s uh, I know Kevin Powell's like 54 he was he was the oldest I think him and Heather were the oldest cast members on that original season I remember they had Norm uh, what was it? Andre Becky Julie course eric niece eric niece was clearly the biggest star that they had um and that's when you saw mtv kind of took a liking matter of fact i remember they they did a a follow-up reunion show on the um after the first season of real world wrapped and they were getting ready to do the real world los angeles and they got everybody back together and uh norm who was uh you know on the first season Norm was upset after the the show aired because he was like the producers seemed like they kind of decided to feature Eric and Julie. And I mean Julie was what well, she was 19, beautiful girl. I mean she was in incredible shape, just gorgeous. And Eric niece, I mean Eric was like what 23 I think. He was like 23. He had he was like a fitness trainer or whatever he he was wow that dude was in the best shape i've ever seen some people you know because he's talked about he was on he he kind of got addicted to drugs and certain things he went through some stuff one thing i saw him doing some press i didn't know that he was supposed to play robin eric nee said he was supposed to play robin in batman forever he's supposed to be opposite of val kilmer and then uh, val kilmer's team decided to hate on him and it was like they was like this dude uh, you know, if we hire him, he's probably going to outshine Val Kilmer. And so they, they like kicked him to the curve. I would have, that would have been curious to see Eric Neat. Cause at that time, I'm telling you, Eric Neese was getting paid from MTV. They, they loved him on season one of the real world. And then they gave him uh, his own show to grind. A lot of you guys, I mean, this dude got to talk to everybody. He was, he's dating celebrity chicks. He's doing like little TV appearances. I mean, this dude got to talk to like Tupac and all these big stars and everything. I'm like, I, the real world really changed his life. And then you go into the latter seasons, you get people like Mike Mizanin, who is of course WWE superstar, The Miz. 
Uh, the Miz wouldn't exist without Real World. Uh, what I think it was the tenth season. Uh, real world back to New York. So they decided to, you know, after it was 10 years, they said, okay, well, let's go back to where we started. And they go to the loft in New York, which, you know, obviously I'm a big Miz fan. I've been following him since the uh, real world Las Vegas, um, where we got Trishel who ended up dating Miz and stuff. That was weird. Um, uh, but yeah, there are a couple people, I can even remember what with real world San Francisco. You got Pedro Zamora. You got uh, you got Puck, who was actually the second cast member to get because they the first cast member to get kicked off the real world was David in real world Los Angeles, which was season two, um, which that whole thing was stupid. And then uh, then they voted Puck off. Uh, they voted Puck off because him and Pedro couldn't get along. And I remember they they were trying to say. Uh, Puck was a bigot and he was homophobic and stuff. And I was watching that show. It just looked like him and him and Pedro just didn't like each other. It didn't. He wasn't attacking. He wasn't attacking Pedro because Pedro was gay. He just they just had personality conflicts. Those two just didn't like each other. And then you got two grown adults and they're just different. And there were there were a couple of people. Um, what's the guy that created uh, that brought Red Hood back to life? Uh, I can't remember his name. That, uh, he, but he he was there in the real world San Francisco. He him and Pedro were really tight, and uh, he ended up uh, he ended up becoming a comic book writer. And he's the guy that brought the Red Hood back and did that whole storyline. So um, I I can't remember his name. I've only read some of I've read some of his work, but I haven't read a whole lot of it. But I I really didn't like him on the real world. I'm not be honest. But um, the real world changed a lot of people's lives. So. I definitely am looking forward to checking out the rest of uh, this season of the Real World Reunion. I figure if it's uh, if it's successful, they'll they'll do reunions with some of the other cast. Because, like I said, you gotta. Um, I would love to see them do Real World Hawaii reunion with Tech and Ruth. Ruthie got blood alcohol poisoning <laughs> on. The, she there was such a problem. But I mean, like I said, I would love to see them go back. Um, and reunite some of my early my favorite cast from some of the earlier seasons. I definitely would like to see what's going on with uh, some of the people from Real World Los Angeles. I would love to see a, a Real World San Francisco reunion with uh, Puck. Uh, obviously, Pedro passed away from uh, he had AIDS, and uh, you know he passed away. But I would love to see what has happened with several of these guys. But uh, it's on Paramount Plus right now. Uh, definitely a recommend. Check it out. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please check out my podcast at anchor.fm slash Akari Press or just type in Akari Press on your favorite streaming platform today.